leash like I'm the problem around here? Fred, don't say anything else. He takes the Fifth Amendment against self-incrimination. I call Fred Jones to the stand. Mr. Jones, I know it's a big risk putting the defendant on the stand. I mean, the whole thing seriously could blow up in my face and you'd be sent up the river for good. So to prevent this disaster in the making from destroying your life, please tell the jury what happened next. Yeah, whatever, Kingy. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Off with his head! Valley Hill Castle's been abandoned for centuries. If that corporation hadn't tried to buy it, we'd never have found out it belonged to my ancestors. Oh, my family doesn't know it owns a lot of things. Just last week, Mother discovered we own the trademark on the phrase, STOP STARING AT MY NOSTRILS! Careful, Mother has lawyers everywhere. Listen, Mr. McQuaid, this land's been in my family for centuries. It runs through our very veins, since we found out about it last week. I won't let some legend scare me from my ancestral home. Who knows what we'll find? This land was once home to all manner of creatures. Fairies, leprechauns, giants. I. Do you really have to wear that ridiculous armor? You're not a knight! Why don't you just use your flashlight? Agreed. Follow my lead. Isn't this comfy, Fred? I put you in the special room Mother reserves for important dignitaries. <sighs> I forgot how gorgeous this place is. As a kid, I hated it because of all of Mother's crazy house rules. <laughs> Now just relax. I promise nothing will disturb you here. Bellington, there you are. Guys, this is Bellington, our butler. I'm so sorry, Bellington. Fred isn't himself. Oh no, a mystery. Right, not a word of this to Fred. We'll handle it without him. We can do this. We all know Fred's mystery-solving procedures. What's the first step? I assure you, nobody is hiding anything from you. We're all here just to get some rest. It's okay, Bellington. Mother isn't here, so we don't have to live in fear of her silly rules. <laughs> no, no, no. Remember, Mother always said, a blue plate makes daytime great. But if it's night, a red plate's right. I live next door. I'm supposed to be around here. You listen, you. Beat it before I call security. <sighs> Can you believe that guy? If you're seeing if I changed my mind, the answer is, yeah, right. In your face, fake Viking logger crook. Meddling kids. Stop running now. Where do you think you are going? How many times do I have to hit you with my hammer? <sighs> well, I've made my ice bed. Now I have to lie uncomfortably atop it. I'm sorry, guys. This is all my fault. <sighs> and I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling... <gasps> I totally get that now. I loved Mimi, and she had no right without asking. Say, Velma, it really seems like water has been picking on you for a long time. Ha! So who was it that was saying I wouldn't make a great cat burglar? 